Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a Drenfx Custom Paint review. In today's review we are looking at the Flaking Pro Set that you can see in front of you here. So what I'll do is I'll talk you through the pieces that you get in the flight case and how you make the guns up and then later on in the video we'll move on to the flake side of things, the binders and the application of the metal flake. We'll do that piece in the studio but I just want to run through the bits in this flight case for you and we'll set the guns up so we'll start off with the airbrush adapter which is the flake king 500 which is this one that you get in the box now this is a smaller jar you can buy the jars with the flake this size to go straight onto the bottom and as you can see this is a billet aluminium top anodized red which is really really nice and they've even gone down and done the flaking engraved logos to this which look really really trick so to adapt this to an airbrush in the box you will get an adapter now you can get different adapters for different airbrushes i'll leave the links for all this kit and all the things you see today in the description so you can click over to the website have a look and you'll see all the bits of kit that you can purchase through flake king on these bits so the adapter that i've got in this box is for the iwata eclipse so that's the one we're going to use and it is so simple guys you basically get the adapter push that into the end of there like that and if you unscrew this jar you'll see a little screw head just there you tighten that screw head up like that this is just an electrical screwdriver nip that up and then that puts that adapter nice and tight. Put your jar back on, nice and simple, and then your airbrush pushes nice and snug into the end, and that's job done. You would then connect your air lead up, quick connect onto the bottom like that, and you're good to go. So that's the FK500, that's how you set it up. You get the small flake nozzle on the front, and you're ready to start flaking guys you also get with this in this kit you get the adapter which is a little pickup tube and basically what that does is you would screw that to the bottom of that nice and simple just screw it in and then you would put that on there and what this one's for is flaking do a new range of corrosion kits which is a powder form, so you can get patina and make things look rust. It looks really cool. I'm gonna do a review on this next, guys. I'm gonna get some of that sorted out. We're gonna do a review on that. But you can use that pickup for that application of the corroded metal kits. So you can use that with this. So that's really cool. So that's the Thrake King 500, the airbrush adapter. Uh, as I say, you can get different adapters for different brushes they'll be on the website in the link below so that's the one you get in the box moving on you get the flake king 1000 i'll just drop that on the screen now so that's the one we're looking at so that's the gun you get this is the bigger gun again it's the billet aluminium really nice finish in like a candy red and it's all engraved again then finishing details with the flake king just make it really really nice so on this gun as you can see you've got a little adjuster here and what this does is if you undo this that makes that pivot so like a normal spray gun when you spray if that was tightened right up knit that up that locks the front end so it can act as a normal spray gun as you're spraying but if you undo this and then attach the jar that you get and that's what you put your metal flake in nice and simple again just everything's nice and easy it's been well designed just to be nice pick up and go so you've undone that at the front and that makes that do this so when you're spraying that jar permanently self levels itself like that which i think is a good idea because when you've got metal flake in the bottom and your flakes running down if you're using it like a normal spray gun and you're spraying and doing this all that flake is going to congregate to one side but if you've got the valve undone here this little catch so that pivots wherever you're going like this that jar's staying at a flat level 
and the pickup staying continuously okay on a flat level. So I think that's a really, really cool idea. So you can use it both ways if you prefer it locked off like that to spray with. The nozzles that you get for this, you get the small and these just basically push on the end nice and simple like that. So you get the small nozzle and then you can go up in sizes, you get the medium, pops on the end and then you get your large which pops on the end like that. And I suppose these are for if you're doing bigger things like crash helmet and you're working your way up to like big cars and things like that, you change your nozzles out and away you go. So that's what you get in the kit. And again, with this kit, you get the pickup, like I just explained with the pickup on that, you get the same pickup tube, which can adapt in this. So you can use this gun for the corrosion kits as well. So that's nice to have in the box. You get the air regulator, and that will just screw. That's just a normal air regulator that you'd get on your normal spray guns. And you would screw that to the bottom like that nice and easy and then your main airline would come down on here so that's the fk 1000 that's the big version the big gun and it's just so easy just to pack it away if you need to clean that out if you've been metal flaking just get an air blower blow it all out and it's nice and clean you're not dipping it in thinners like if you're doing the old school metal flake where you're mixing flake with clear you've got to really clean the gun out you can only use one gun for that because you wouldn't want to use your really expensive clear coat guns and start chucking flake through them because there's nothing worse you get on another project and you go to clear coat a car and then you all of a sudden splat clip flake over it that's all you need so i really think it's a good well thought application way of doing metal flake i've tried the old school way a couple of times so this is all new to me and this will be my first attempt with this you'll see first hand this will be my first goes with these guns and these setups and you'll see later on in the, in the uh, video so that's the flake king 1000 and then you can also make up the flake king 550 in this kit so i'll show you how you do that i'll just pop that on the screen now so that's the 550 so to make the 550 up you would undo this at the front and that pulls away and then you get this one take your jar off and take that pickup out undo the screw that's inside that just holds that airbrush adapter slide that out and then this slides onto there nip that up stick your jar on and you're good to go you've got the 550 in the box so you've got three variations of the flake king now the reason why you get the 550 which is this one the airbrush one which is the 500 can run off an airbrush compressor this can also run off of an airbrush compressor and you could run this off a big compressor you get in the box an adapter to go from the back of the gun that you would screw in there like that and then you get your airline for your airbrush compressor and then you can adapt and you can screw that one into there like that so you've got the option of using this through an airbrush compressor which then leaves your airbrush nice and free to use for something else and you've got the gun set up again like that for this so that's a really handy piece to have so that's the 550 so they're the guns that you get in the box nice and simple you've just seen me adapt all these and this is the first time i've opened this kit up and tried this so i've just done this straight off the cuff making these things up i've had a quick watch of the videos that have been on online but that is as simple as it's nice and easy you get all the instructions in the box which tells you the guide on what to do application and things like that and then you get a nice color printout on the back and it shows you the metal flakes that flake can do i've got some of the metal flakes here so what we'll do is 
Oi. Yes, Come on. in a minute. Nice Just give me one minute. minute. We're so not impatient. Sitting there chatting. So what we'll do is we'll move on into the studio and then I can start talking you through the flakes, the actual binder and things like that. And we'll move on to the next stage of this flaking video and just, you'll see. So I'll see you in the studio. See you in a minute, guys. No. You've done the first stage on talking them through the box and all the guns. I've been told I've got to do that stage two. You're in stage three. No. Sorry, guys. He's kicking off again because he wanted to do stage two, what I'm doing. He's got stage three, which is the artwork, which you're going to see later on. So I'm going to talk you through. I'm going to talk you through these bits here of what I've got in front of me. And I'm going to run you through this flake method on how to do dry metal flake. So as you can see, we've got some metal flakes around. In the actual box that you get, you get the leaflet which tells you, explains all what you need to do and the process on how to do it. And then you've got some flakes. You've got some images and flakes there, couple of flakes, and on the back, you've got a load more. Flake can do over 30 different colored flakes and you can get multiple sizes as well in the metal flake, which is really good. I'll leave links in the description to a website where you can look at the whole Flake King range and you can look at the new system that they've got, which is a Visionaire, which is well worth a look, guys. So that's the flakes that they do. I've got a few flakes here, which I can run through with you today. We're gonna to be using the Fire Purple metal flake, which is this one. And then we've got Gold, metal flake we're going to be using that one today and we're going to be using a red candy apple red metal flake which is that one and we've got a candy blue as well cobalt blue candy blue metal flake which is that one there really nice these ones are in medium so the ones we're using today are all medium setup we're also going to use some of the silver which is in this one. So the panels that I've got, I've got two panels that I've previously painted black. Now, metal flake will show up best off of a black base. You'll get your full color and your shine out of it off of a black base. You can go off different bases to get different effects, but we're gonna be working from a black base today. So I've got them two panels, I've got them split in half, so I'm going to use the FK500 with two types of flake on that one. And then we're going to move on to the FK550. We'll do two swap overs with some flake onto that panel. And then I've got this big panel just here. Now on this one, this is a silver base coat, both sides. And this has all been fine lined out and we've got artwork here. This is for stage three, what he's going to take you through. Uh, but I've got to get the metal flake down for his stage. So I'm going to drop some silver on there and on here. And we're going to go up a silver base as well. So we're going to drop the silver down, the metal flake down with the flaking 1000. So you'll see that on this panel. And then in that stage, you've got some lace work. We've got a sheet of lace. I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's in that stage. We're going to be using the Arwata Eclipse because we've got the attachment, what he talked you through, where you use the attachment for the 550. We drop that in there, tighten the screw up, and we just push that to the airbrush. We'll have a pray around with some pressures. I'll do some tests where I'm just spraying it and you can see what sort of volume of metal flake comes out of these guns. So you'll see it at pressures. So I'll run through that with you. The actual binder that you need, you could go down with like a clear coat. So if we've got the panel, you could drop a pass of clear, a wet coat of clear, and then you could flake on top of that. But what flake can do is they've got their own binder, and it's a surface binder, which is this one here. So you would drop a wet coat of the binder down, and then you'd metal flake on top of that, and that's what adheres the metal flake will adhere to this binder. And then what's recommended is as well, once you've done your metal flake, get the binder and give it two, two good coats over the top of the metal flake. 
and you'll see it go like a milky colour and it'll settle over the metal flake. And this will just cut down on your clear coat because if you've ever done metal flake before, you have to bury it with a lot of clear because you've got all them flakes that are sitting. They won't sit all flat. They'll all be sitting like with edges up like that. And your clear coat's got to bury that so you get a nice flat surface above it. So if you use the FK surface binder, the FK50, that will just build that layer up and then when that dries it'll go like a looks, looks near a frosted colour. You hit it with the clear, the clear neutralises that and it goes crystal clear once you put your clear coat over the top. And it's just a better method of doing it that way, it just saves your cost on your 2k clear coat. If you're smashing loads and loads of clear on it, it's going to cost you a lot of money when you can just hit it with a couple of coats of the FK50 and that will just bring that level up and just bury them flakes a little bit easier. So I've talked you through these bits here. You've seen the gun setups. So what I do is I'll fire the compressor up, I'll get sorted here, and then the first thing we're going to take you through will be the FK500. We've got some blue metal flake in that. Hook it up to the Iwata and we'll smash some flake down. So right guys, I've got everything set up. We've got the panel in front of me. I'm going to do half of this panel first. I've got the FK50 surface binder in the Iwata mini jet. We're going to do a wet coat and then we'll move over to the flake and we're going to use the, the FK500 on the airbrush and we'll blast some flake on this. So this is first attempt. So I'm going to drop a wet coat on here and then I'll move you over and we'll get this flake done. this and we're just going to hit it guys see what happens and there you go flaked in probably about not even 20 seconds and that's done and we've used next to no flake on that. That wasn't even a full jar on that. And that's just hammered that down, not a problem at all. And as I say, with the dry flake, you can then brush all this down, scoop it up, and then you can save it. So that's the sort of flake that's left over around the outside. And that's the finish you get, guys. That is... 100% coverage in under 20 seconds and that's gone down an absolute treat. That looks really, really nice. Once this is clear coated up, that is just gonna sparkle. So that's the FK500 with the airbrush and that just smashed that down with ease. What is, I'll let that just go off a minute with the binder and then we'll demask this side and mask this side, this up. We'll change the flake over to the gold. We'll smash it with that one again, and I'll just give you a little demo of the 500 again. So yeah, I'll see you once I've got this set up. Next panel, I'm gonna drop the gold metal flake on this one. So we're gonna go with the binder again. Nice coat, and then we'll move on to that side and we'll put the flake down, guys. So we've got the gold flake in the FK500 and we're just going to hit this now and give this a flake over.
that's it guys you've got full coverage again in under a minute and I slowed that one down I turned the pressure down in the airbrush a little bit more because that on the blue one it really pumped it out but that's a really nice coverage on that I did notice on the blue one when I moved it after I flaked it when I torn the paper off the opposite side I slightly caught it and it slightly marked the flake so when you do this give it a little bit of cure time after once you've flaked it move it to one side let it cure down and then you'll be good to go so that's the gold and that's with the FK500 nice and easy clip it to the front of the airbrush job done you're flaking in in seconds guys so what we'll do is I'm going to look tidy up we'll go back to the first panel I'll set the 550 up run that through the airbrush line and then we'll see how that one goes see you in a minute right while them two are drying and just drying off I don't want to go putting paper on the opposite side just at the moment because I don't want to catch it and knock it we're going to move on to the big panel and I've set the FK550 up with some silver metal flake so I'm going to drop a wet coat of the FK50 on this and then we'll get on to the FK550 and I'll show you how that works. And there you go, we've got full coverage again. We've got a little mark there, but that's where I just checked just to see how much, because with the binder, we've got the light coming across. I couldn't see how much binder I'd got down because it is quite thick, but there is hardly no drop off on that whatsoever. And that's full coverage on that. And that was really quick. That wasn't fast. The pressure was down to about two three psi so you've not got to get a high pressure on this really keep that pressure low you probably see little bits floating around so that's the panel done we'll let that one go off and we can move on to the two previous the gold one and the blue one they should be all good to go i'll get the opposite sides of them masked up drop a little bit more colored flake and we'll hit it again i've got some of the Candy apple red metal flake in this, in the FK1000. I've just given that a coat of the FK50, so let's give this one a test, guys. And that's fully covered in a matter of seconds with this one you can get your pressure down to about two to three psi and then that pickup lever there you can adjust that to see how much flakes coming out as you've seen when i've done that a big puff of it came out so you just dial that in once you get your pressure dialed in and you know how much flakes coming out of the gun it's an absolute doddle as long as you get a real good coat of the binder a nice even coat all over that flake will just stick to it like glue so that's the test on the flake guns you've seen me use the fk500 the fk550 and we've used the 1000 and I've dropped different flakes in. They've all been medium flakes, they've not been real coarse or big dense flake. So they've all been medium, all the same. But my thoughts guys, they perform, all three guns perform really, really well. Um, my, I really like the FK500. I like the idea of the clip into the airbrush and it's, it's compact and nice. And um, that would be, that one's more than good enough for doing a tank, crash helmets, small jobs, it will absolutely hammer that. I mean, you've seen how that hammered that down, that little FK500 hammered it down. And then when you're looking at the bigger gun, 
that bigger gun will do a car, a van, not a problem. I had that dialed in and that just throws the flake out. And I had the medium, the small nozzle on that. You put the bigger nozzle on and you start dialing that in, you'll get that flake coming out and you'll get really, really good coverage. So what we'll do is, I won't see you in stage three. He's gonna come in on stage three and he's gonna take through the artwork stages on this next panel. You've got candy and lace and you've got artwork. So I hope you enjoyed my part. I'll see you soon and I'll pass you over to him. Hi everyone, welcome back to part three and I'm going to take you through these stages on the candy and lace and the piece of artwork we've got in front of me here. That's what we're working on from the screen. But I'm going to do this in like an all blue scale because we're going to do some blue candy and then eventually this will all be cleared as one so we have a lot of blues on this. With the metal flake underneath that was done in part two. So I'll drop you on a long time lapse. This will just be a time lapse on this picture and then you'll see the lace going in and a bit of fine lining on these two metal flake sides. It's all gonna be in the video and I'll give you a chat at the end when we've completed this piece. The airbrush that I'm using is the Iwata Eclipse Takuma. I'm gonna use that today. We're using the Golden High Flow Acrylics. I've mixed a blue and made it really transparent. So I've got a load of blue and I've got a darker blue as well here. We're gonna be using candies as well later on. So yeah, I'll stick on a time-lapse. Enjoy the piece of artwork guys and we'll have a chat at the end. See you in a bit.
music of our sphere. The gift of life is never more or less. It starts at any time you like and ends in just a wink. Talk you through then last loads of time lapses that we went on there's the finished piece so that was the metal plate that was done in part two and then I've just gone in we've done the portrait I've dropped a bit of the lace around the outside of her gone in mainly with a blue scale on this and then just started to tone them back and knock the shades of blue in and then I just basically cut some masking out done some lines in there and then we've done the fan patterns in the bottom to finish that off so i hope you've enjoyed this video on the flake king review and on the portrait and all the process along in this video i just want to say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers thank you so much for all the comments i'm glad you're enjoying the content on the channel and if you're not subscribed click that subscribe so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos on dread effects custom paint and leave all the links so you can get over to the website check out all the flake king stuff they do a load of stuff they've also got the new vision air which is really worth a look so if you're looking for a mobile station for airbrushing in your studio they do a full range of kit guys and it is really cool so thanks again and i'll see you in the next one